Welcome to the Millis Integrated Preschool online presentation. My name is Sarah Browning and I'm the Early Childhood Coordinator and the preschool teacher, one of the preschool teachers. Uh, we hope this presentation gives you an overview of the program and answers any questions you may have regarding the program. If you have any additional questions after, please feel free to email me at sbrowning at millisschools.org. I'd like to introduce Mr. Russo and Mrs. Malloy. Welcome to Clyde Brown. I'm Joe Russo. I'm the interim principal. And I'm Elise Malloy. I'm the assistant principal and school counselor here at Clyde Brown. We're excited today to have you learn all about the preschool program, and Ms. Sarah is going to talk to you about that. And you know that you'll be enjoying the preschool program. Ms. Sarah will definitely fill you in on everything you need to know. Sorry we can't be doing this in person, but this is the way of our life these days. Um, hopefully it will answer a lot of your questions, and if there are any other questions that you have, you can certainly always contact us at the school. Thank you. Thank you. As I mentioned, um, my name is Sarah Browning, and I've been teaching in Millis for almost 20 years. I have my degree in early childhood and special education. I love working with this age group because the growth and development of each individual child is a joy to watch and be part of. Barbie Carr has been teaching in the Millis Preschool for almost 20 years as well. She has her degree in early childhood and intensive special education. Preschool is her favorite age group to work with because the growth during these years is amazing and the joy they find in everything can always bring a smile to her face. Jess Keppel has an early childhood been an early childhood educator for 15 years. She is certified as an early childhood teacher and special education teacher with her master's degree in special education. This will be Jess's third year working as a preschool teacher in Millis. Jessica loves viewing the process of learning through a preschooler's eyes. The exploration phase is so exciting and fun to be part of. The Millis Integrated Preschool is a developmentally appropriate language-based program where children are invited to learn through exploration and experiences in their environment. We believe children of all abilities will grow and develop in the cognitive, social, emotional, and physical development when given the opportunity to be an active participant in their environment. The program offerings detailed on the following slides are for children who will be three on or before August 31st, 2020. All programs for next year will be multi-age, combining children who are three, four, and turning five in the same classroom. Program offerings are subject to change based on the needs of our special education population and the budget. Please note the tuition is paid for per month for 10 months and is subject to change at the discretion of the Mellis School Committee. Next year we're offering a three-day morning program that meets Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday from 9 to 11.30 and that is $168.50 per month. We're offering a five-day morning program Monday through Friday 9 to 11.30 and that's $244.40 a month. We're offering a four-day afternoon program, Monday through Thursday, 12.30 to 3. That will be $223.60 per month. And a five-day afternoon program, Monday through Friday, 12.30 to 3. Again, that's $244.40 per month. The following slides explain the daily activities that children are exposed to each day. Our curriculum is theme-based using two-week themes, and many of our activities are based around these themes. Opening circle is an opportunity for all students to gather together on the rug to start the day. Each child has their own circle mat to help maintain their personal space on the rug. Each day we will do hello. A different child will be a hello helper and says hello to his or her peers. We'll do a movement song that allows children the opportunity to stand and move as we do not expect young children to sit for extended amounts of time. We'll have a calendar helper who completes the calendar while the group practices the days of the week, counting and patterning. A weather helper will look out the window to determine the weather. A weekly graph is created to compare the weather each day. And a song chooser picks a song um, from a song board for the group to sing. At that time, we transitioned into choice time, which is, which is a large portion of our day when centers are set up throughout the classroom for children to engage in a variety of activities. A classroom management picture system is used so that centers do not become too crowded or overwhelming. This teaches children self-regulation and self-management skills. 
Please note that we do not generally have have to activities each day, but if we notice a child does not often engage in certain types of activities, we will encourage participation in those activities a few times a week. Each day an art project is offered. This allows the children to create with markers, paint, glue, scissors, and other craft materials. We believe in the process versus the product, which allows the children to explore to their own ability and vision. Children will not always bring home something you can identify, but they will have had fun making it. The work table allows children to explore materials such as small blocks, puzzles, manipulatives, and academic learning tasks. The hands-on table allows children to use their hands to explore sensory play materials. Materials may include Play-Doh, putty, kinetic sand, shaving cream, oobleck, finger paint, and slime. Rug play is for larger toys and often encourages imaginative and cooperative play with peers. Items may include trains, cars, blocks, little people, dollhouse animals, castles, and pirate ships. Dramatic play is where imaginative role playing occurs. Throughout the year, we change the center to allow children different role playing experience. Scenarios may include the ones listed here. The sensory table is another area where children can explore using their hands and experience with scientific phenomena. Materials in this table can include water, sand, snow, rice, pom poms, and orbeez. Additional centers offered in the room include the easel, which allows children the opportunity to paint and create, the writing center, which allows children practice with fine motor skills, a game table, which allows children to practice language skills, turn taking, and following the rules of the game, a puzzle area where children can work independently or cooperatively in completing a variety of skill level puzzles, and a quiet area where children can look at books or alone or listen to a book with an adult. After cleanup time, Second Circle is another opportunity to gather on the rug as a class. During this time, children will learn a theme-based poem, listen to a theme-based story, or engage in a theme-based finger play, game, song, or activity. Snack is provided each day and includes staple items such as goldfish, graham crackers, cereal, pirate's booty, veggie straws. Fruits are also offered when available. There is a separate snack fee of $5 per month to cover the cost of snacks. Allergy guidelines are adhered to and no snack items contain peanuts, tree nuts, or eggs. Each day children are given the opportunity for gross motor activities. We will use our beautiful new playground each day unless it is raining or too cold. If we are unable to play outside, we may go for a walk within the building or engage in movement activities in the classroom. Al's Pals is the social skills curriculum we use that uses puppetry, games, creative play, original songs, and more to increase the following pro-social skills in young children. Identifying and understanding feelings, expressing and responding to feelings in pro-social ways, appreciating differences, respecting others, brainstorming new ideas and thinking flexibly, solving personal, interpersonal conflict, and coping in safe and healthy ways. Each year we participate in four walking field trips. In the fall we visit the fire station to tour and have a fire safety presentation. We visit Tangerini's farm for pumpkin picking. In the spring we visit the police station for a tour and the library for a story and craft with Miss Rachel. We are fortunate to be supported by the Millis Home and School Association. Activities they fund include music and movement with Miss Elaine Kessler eight times a year, yoga with Miss Siri Khalsa five times per year, a visit from Southwick Zoo with live animals, and book giveaways for each child to bring home a book to keep. The Millis Public Schools does offer a wraparound preschool program that provides child care from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. The wraparound preschool classroom is located at the Clyde Brown School, which allows easy transitions to and from our program. Please contact Jean Noonan for more information. We thank you for joining us and for your interest in our program. We're sorry we couldn't do this live, but we hope to see you soon. And again, if you have any questions, feel free to email sbrowning at millisschools.org.